Hi there, welcome to Noctis on YouTube. The transportation of fuel, such as crude oil, gas, and petroleum products, plays a pivotal role in global maritime trade. The capacity of the world's tanker fleet carrying fossil fuels has surged by 83% over the past few decades. According to data from the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development in 2020, approximately 80% of total global trade was conducted via sea transport, with about 10 billion tons of fossil fuels being transported by carrier ships. Most ships and airplanes utilize fossil fuels to power their engines, but the majority of gas reserves are located far from consumer areas. The solution of building pipelines is overly expensive and impractical. Currently, many companies are implementing the concept of a virtual pipeline, enabling users not connected to the network to utilize natural gas. Through condensation, gas can be cooled into a liquid to reduce its volume, making it more manageable and safe for storage and overseas shipment. LNG is natural gas that's been condensed into a liquid form, processed at LNG facilities. This process involves cooling the natural gas to extremely low temperatures, around minus 323 X Fahrenheit, or lower, under specific pressures, causing the gas to transform into a liquid. The volume of liquid LNG is significantly smaller compared to its gassier state, which eases its transportation and storage. One unit volume of LNG equates to about 600 unit volumes of gaseous natural gas under standard conditions, enabling efficient transport by ship. LNG is frequently used as an alternative fuel in ships and trucks that require fuel with high energy density and ease of transport. Given its transportation and storage advantages, LNG becomes the primary choice for ships and trucks requiring an energy source with high density and transportability. One of the major players in this industry is Nakilat, a company specializing in LNG transportation, boasting a world-class fleet. Nakilat stands at the forefront of the LNG transportation industry with the world's largest LNG fleet. Nakilat's LNG ships are among the most technologically advanced and are the world's largest, shipping to over 26 countries and 90 terminals globally. Join us as we follow an LNG carrier on a typical journey and discover what it's like to work aboard these vessels. Joining such a large ship involves an orientation process that includes comprehensive safety information to ensure every crew member knows precisely what to do in the unlikely event of an emergency. A Nakilat-owned LNG ship begins its journey from Race Lapham Port, where a load of 260,000 cubic meters of LNG has just been completed and the loading arms have been detached. Currently, the cargo they've loaded is destined for China. Typically, loading all five tanks with three loading arms takes about 15 hours from start to finish. Before the loading operation, the ship's crew ensures the tanks are cold enough to continue the process. Before unmooring, tugboats meet with the ship to help maneuver safely away from the dock and out of the harbor. Safe navigation is facilitated by a local pilot providing advice and support to the ship's captain and coordinating with the harbor authority and tugboats. Releasing a large ship's moorings is a high-risk activity requiring meticulous planning to ensure all crew members remain safe. Mooring ropes are under high tension, hence the crew is well trained to handle ropes and operate machinery safely. Once safely out of the harbor, the on-duty officer receives instructions from the captain. Normal surveillance resumes. The pilot departs the ship and the vessel sets its course for China to deliver the LNG cargo to customers. 
A new day begins en route to China over the next two weeks, and the ship will cross two oceans and cover 5,200 nautical miles, nearly equivalent to 10,000 kilometers. Currently, the crew is on the navigation bridge, the eyes and ears of every ship. From here, the ship's crew navigates 24-7. Through advanced onboard satellite technology, the captain can communicate with ground staff at Nakilat's office to update the ship's status and journey progress. Representatives from every department attend daily meetings to prepare and plan for the next day's activities. The team's wealth of knowledge and experience ensures a smooth journey. The ship's engines will rotate the propeller nearly two million times before reaching its final destination. Each morning starts with a toolbox talk, where all aspects of safety and operational work are discussed and tasks are assigned to individuals based on the daily work plan. This is the engine control room, where the ship's crew controls all processes, such as the diesel engines and generators, as well as loading equipment. The engine is the heart of the ship and provides the vessel with energy and all resources required for safe ship operations. The engine room is vast. This ship has twin engines and all equipment on board is duplicated. The crew conducts a lifeboat simulation held nearly every month. Thus, to always be prepared in emergencies, they must know their responsibilities and where they need to go when urgent rescue efforts are crucial and it's vital for the crew. It's essential to know the alarms and the crew can request assistance while staying patient in emergency situations. When out at sea one day each week is dedicated to checking life-saving and firefighting equipment in the morning. Whereas the afternoon is when the crew spends time socializing during a formal lunch and enjoying various leisure activities. Seafarers on the ship stay fit and healthy by using the onboard gym Equipped with all essential workout equipment, exercising not only helps them stay in shape, but also provides a great way for them to socialize in their free time. This is Talal Ansari, the third officer on this ship. His primary duty on the vessel is to navigate safely. On board, there are about 30 crew members. While out at sea, navigation officers and guards can handle all navigation tasks However, challenging navigation in the Strait of Singapore requires an increased number of crew on the bridge. Parts of the sea resemble highways where many ships use the same routes to reach their destinations. There aren't many places in the world where the ocean is so crowded with passing ships. In the Strait of Singapore, around 2,000 ships cross the waters daily. At its narrowest, the Strait of Singapore is only one kilometer wide, making careful navigation an absolute necessity when passing through these waters to protect people, the ship and its cargo. While most days at sea are calm, no one can predict the weather. Sailing through choppy seas requires an experienced captain to navigate the ship and crew safely. Deck officers and crew on the navigation bridge spend half their working day, which is four night watches in near total darkness, while everyone on the ship sleeps. These men ensure the ship is safely navigated throughout the night. Each night, the captain provides special night orders for the guard to follow. Day-to-day -day work on the ship requires a lot of effort it's a significant task to keep all the ship's systems functioning and in top condition. Meanwhile, in the ship's kitchen, the catering team is busy preparing over a hundred meals for the crew, and this is done every day. After a challenging day at work, the evening is a time to relax, playing cards, video games, or chatting with loved ones via the ship's internet. During the journey to China, the ship crosses six time zones. The clock is fast-forwarded by one hour every three or four days, 
so by the time the ship arrives at its destination, the ship's time is synchronized with the destination's local time. One of the most significant hazards a ship can face is a gas leak or fire on board. The ship is equipped with various prevention and firefighting systems whose primary function is to detect early signs and prevent fire from spreading throughout the vessel. The IMO spray system is an example seen here. The LNG industry adheres to some of the highest and strictest safety standards with an impeccable safety record without any human fatality incidents or ship damage due to cargo fires on board. Exercises are coordinated with the headquarters, ensuring that both the onboard and onshore teams are prepared for emergencies. When the team is not on guard duty, the deck crew is busy maintaining the structure and deck equipment. Naturally, seawater can cause corrosion to deck iron and equipment. Therefore, keeping all ship objects and structures free from corrosion and ensuring all moving equipment is free from rust is a constant battle. After two weeks at sea, the ship arrives at the unloading port in China. After cargo measurements are done and all safety checks are complete, the precious LNG cargo is offloaded at the receiving terminal. The LNG is then unloaded at the factory and channeled through the local pipe system. The offloading has now been safely completed. All checks on engine systems and the bridge have been conducted. The harbour master, who comes on board to assist the captain in the ship's departure, has extensive knowledge about the local waterways. Tugboats are used to turn the ship in the confined spaces within the port as well as the channels approaching the harbour. The tugboats assisting the departure process are connected and the ship releases the mooring ropes that connect it to the shore. Once the ship exits the port boundaries, the tugboats detach from the LNG ship and the harbour master disembarks from the vessel. The ship and its crew are now ready to enter the open sea and embark on another two-week journey to Ras Lafen. Each Nakalat LNG vessel undertakes similar journeys about 10 times a year, playing a crucial role in the global energy supply chain. That's the end of video. I hope you enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss our new video. See you next time.